Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2023. Happy New Year! For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite blushes tints these winters. I have uh, a lot of formula wise, I have a lot of cream and liquid blushes because that just makes sense. But I do have one powder blush that I really, really love. I think 2022 was all about blushes. I think 2022 was all about blushes, cream blushes, powder blushes, especially lip and cheek tints gonna be wearing these blushes all throughout winters and uh, also in general if you're looking for some really amazing blushes that look really good on all skin tones on all indian skin tones then this video might be helpful for you i picked these according to formulations according to the colors uh, which i feel is so appropriate for this winter season all of that being said let's just get started with the video okay the first blush i'm going to start with the most affordable one this these are the inside cream blushes um i have actually two shades but these are the shades that i'm going to mention which are my personal favorite these are so appropriate formula wise and the color like shade wise the first one that i have is the inside dusty rose 03 now this is such a beautiful mauve this shade is nice my personal favorite from that range brands usually don't do like mauve blush mauve like really cool tone blushes like our indian brands uh i don't know why because i just find them so stunning cool tones look so beautiful on indian skin tones especially dusky skin tones and this is just one of those blushes the formulation of these blushes are amazing they are so so good for the price and a brand like insight is just too good then the other shade that i have is caramel eclair now this is more on the warmer side this is this is kind of a terracotta peach kind of a this is how the shade is very very moisturizing dewy um not very dewy so i think these i think these kind of blushes um i feel these liquid cream blushes uh, they look very very beautiful on bare skin so even if you don't apply makeup um i think they, they these retail for 75 rupees okay next blush is also very very affordable this is by blue heaven and this one has my heart um because since the time i got this i think i got this last year exactly this time of the year and i have been using this i use this every single day this is just always in my everyday makeup bag kind of a blush I use this on bare skin mostly i like to use this on bare skin because it just looks so glowy so dewy and i just love it um obviously these kind of blushes don't last as long because the blushes and blushes are one of those makeup products that just fades away the first makeup product that fades away from your face it is it makes my skin look so juicy and so healthy um this is that kind of a blush and i have the shade dead peach they have a lot they have a couple of uh shade options in this this is a very convenient also it's in a stick form um very well if you like very um natural subtle blushes it comes under 200 and i think it's just one of the best finds from blue heaven for sure at least for me I have another blue heaven now this is for people who have like normal to oily skin because this is not very very dewy this one is on the very dewy moisturizing side this one is this one has a very nice velvet texture which which has a natural finish i love the shade of this particular blush it's such a beautiful beautiful pink so easy to blend it comes in a packaging like this you just pinch uh take out a little and a little goes a long way for this one um i think all of these blushes are very very pigmented so you just need the tiniest amount you need the slightest amount you blend it with the fingers i think the best part about these blushes is that you can use anything to blend it even your fingers and i think it works the best with your fingers i have another very affordable this is the lip and cheek tint specifically this is the cuffs and lashes let's go tinting lip cheeks and eyes now this comes in a pot packaging like this and i have the shade lactose free now i wanted to specially mention this because of the shade because i feel it's such a winter appropriate shade um it has more hints of brown in it more than um coral it has more hints of brown so it's on those side this is the kind of blush that feels like it's 
if it's there if it's not there you can't really tell because it's so so it looks so so natural it's not very dewy it's not very matte it's right in between abhi since it's winters and like everything around is dry this one also can the formulation has gone a little bit stiff so you have to like kind of warm it up so it's a little bit hard to work with so other than that this is a beautiful blush very very pigmented at a, such a great price they have so many different shades and great lip and cheek tint they can go for i think when it comes to lip and cheek tints they had their moment this year in 2022 it was all about lip and cheek tints every other brand was launching new lip and cheek tints now this one is no if you've been watching me for a while you know this is my current favorite and i still and i have been using this a lot i love the shade i love the formulation of this one um this is a makeup revolution blush bomb Uh, I have the shade Rose Lust. Um, I am so much into mauvey blushes, so I just wish um, that Indian brands came up, come up with more cool tone blushes and cool tone lipsticks because I think we don't like we rarely find it, and because we rarely find it, this one is a blush that is very very pigmented again. So you need the tiniest amount. It gives a very nice healthy glow on your skin. Again. This is a blush that I love to use on my bare skin without any makeup. Just moisturize the sunscreen, and then I'll go with this. It just looks so so pretty on the deeper side. So great again for dark skin people. I just love this. It is a little bit expensive. It is around six hundred rupees, but I think very much value for the money. This even blends with a brush, so and does not leave any streak lines or harsh lines. So I think. And the, they have nailed the formulation of this one. So this is the last cream liquid cream blush. Um, this is by Simply Nan, and this year, first of all, this smells so good. Um, this is the Velvet Cream Magic Blush, and I have the shade Sister from Another Mister. Uh, this is salmon pink color. Now I think this is one of the best sellers. You can see why formulation of these this blush is so so different. It feels so velvety, like as the name says, it feels so velvety and smooth to touch. It blends beautifully into the skin. This is one of those blushes that is not going to emphasize any of your texture. So if you have that kind of a skin and you're really confused and if you're scared which blush to go for, I think this is really really good. Most expensive out of all the blushes that I've shown. And I feel like you can pick this up if you like Simply Nam as a brand. I I love this blush, no complaints. But I feel like it's very very expensive for a lot of us. So I will recommend this getting this um only during this du during their sales. Um, then I think it's worth it. Uh, otherwise, um, the affordable options that I've shown you is as good as these blushes. So. Yeah, I have a powder blush. Um, if you know me, you know that I don't really like powder blushes. If you ask me that one powder blush that I will always pick over everything, it is the K Beauty blush. Almost every product that I have tried from them, and when I see the reviews, when I see people talk about this brand, it speaks volumes. And so I think she knows what she's doing with this brand, and I just. Absolutely love that. Um, I want a powder blush formula to be not drying or something that has a very unique and nice formula. Then I would like a blush, and this is one of those blushes. Um, I still haven't gotten a chance to try the cream blushes. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, I will. But I just have so many blushes, and I don't want to hold more. The formula of this is so creamy, buttery, smooth, blends. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It sits so beautifully on the skin. And the shade of this one is so pretty. Um, soft nude will look so beautiful on each and every skin tone. This blush is for eight hundred rupees. Um, not very expensive, not too affordable. I will agree, it's not very affordable. But if you just want to invest in a good blush, I think this is a great option. If you are someone who's trying like blushes for the very first time, this blush can be a little bit scary because that way because it's very very pigmented. So if you don't like very pigmented blushes, maybe you'll not like this. How I use it is ah uh, just take very little of it when I have a very very heavy makeup on and I want a blush that stands out with that with any kind of makeup. This is it. I wanted to mention this another powder blush also specifically for the shade. This again, this is by Color Bar. This is 
their cheek illusion blush now this is this, this is the blush that was so popular back in the day i remember gosh the shade of this blush is really really pretty and again this is again a blush that is so pigmented the other day i was trying to use it and i just put, put a lot and it was a task for me to mute it down um this is a blush that i rediscovered it has a slight bit of shimmer in it um so it's kind of a satin blush shade of these are very very similar i feel um, so the shade sweet scarlet again um, so many people love this particular shade so yeah but if i had to pick between these two always be beauty um, but i just wanted to give you another option uh, those are all of my favorite blushes if you have any video ideas um that you want me to do or any shots like what should i do more on shots that you would love watching let me know that and with that i will see you in my next video bye